Hello, this is Mackerel Phones, and I'm playing Metroid Samus Returns. After the events of Metroid Zero Mission, oh, and you know, the Metroid Prime series and all that stuff, the Galactic Federation quite sensibly decided it was time to eliminate the Metroids. They destroyed the planet they were unleashed on, after all. And so that's what happens in this one. Or at least, it's what Samus is sent to cause to happen. Nobody has more experience with Metroids than her, right? In any case, this is a remake on the 3DS of, uh, uh, Metroid 2 on the Game Boy. And now, not when this will be uploaded, but at the time of my recording this, this is probably the newest thing I've ever recorded. Like, this is pretty recently after it came out. It came out under the title Metroid Samus Returns, which not only is more in fitting with the series than Metroid 2 Samus Returns, but it also is a sort of message to the fans who were upset that there hadn't been a Metroid game in so long, and that the last one had been a rather bizarre spin-off. Let's go. So this is the interior of the gunship, huh? Oh, nice touch. After some other stuff happened that I talked about in that Let's Play. And so it begins. Well, ah. Uh, why can't I move? Oh, I see. We can't move with the directional pad? Only the joystick, huh? Well, this is already off to a much worse start than my worst expectations, but... I suppose these must be the ruins of the Chozo facilities where, um, the Metroids were originally built. Now, I've never played Metroid 2. Huh. Well, that doesn't look safe for us. 
So I can't compare this to the original, but for those who can, it probably is going to be quite interesting. So with this, they've brought all of the pre-Super Metroid Metroid games, all two of them, you know. That's odd. Wait, do I already have the Morph Ball? I don't think so. Okay, that's how we shoot. Am I just missing something very obvious? I very well might be. Um. Oh, they were breakable blocks. I feel silly now. So here's the thing. Because the Metroids have been killing every single thing on this planet, only the very toughest have survived. Hmm. Wait, L to lock your position and enter... Ah. Well, I guess the question is, do I need to... Yeah, I don't need that. Okay. How am I going to get up there, though? If I run, will I get up there? God, using the control pad just feels wrong. Oh. Well, you know, I, I have no reason, you know, to, uh... I'm sorry. These controls just feel totally unintuitive to me. Like... I've never played a side-scroller where you can only use the analog stick. I mean, I'm sure I'll get used to it, but it's just weird. Also, how do I get up there? There's something else I can... Oh, wait, here we go. Um, go, there we go. Okay. Hey, block. I don't appreciate what you're doing. Come on. It's like every button I think will be the shoot button is not. Hey, 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 no. I'm sorry, guys, that I'm doing this poorly. It's, come. It's just the button I think it should be the jump, it should be the shoot button is the jump button. And then, okay. And then the button I think is the shoot button is the jump button and it just, it just goes all around pretty poorly. But in any case, these are all predators that were tough enough to withstand, you know, the Metro. Oh great, I'm gonna have to listen to this now withstand Metroid oh really to, to withstand Metroids come on there we go oh I still have uh, enough missiles I think but this noise is not very pleasant and I wish I wasn't listening to it I'm a little worried like in Metroid Zero Mission I very quickly got the the, the hang of the controls, but here, like I'm gonna need to do this stuff at very high speeds later on. Well, I'll do my, I'll do, I'll try my dark, whoa, whoa. I guess I see now why those are tough enough to handle the Metroids. How, God, this soon? I guess this is a way of letting me know this is going to be a lot harder, but, uh... Is there some way to, to change the controls? Hold on, there must be. Maybe this? No? What about this? No, this is the map. Oh, here. This looks like, yeah, controls. Um, can I change them? All right, here's what I'm gonna have to do. Is this. But the thing is, I gotta not... Oh, hey, there's another one of these things. You see, I thought that these were pretty much, um, not dangerous. Until I realized they were. And that... Oh... That must be what happened to one of the people from the team. 
You're not gonna say anything, Samus? Well, all right. They still have these Chozo doors, though, huh? Make your melee counter right before charging enemy makes... Wait, right before charging enemy makes contact to... Oh, we can parry? Oh, that's what that's for. Okay, this is a parry. Sounds good to me. It's a melee counter. So what they mean is it counters your, you know, melee. Sure. Well, these are some odd animals they got here. And the thing about these animals is, you know, you know, they um were already like this. Like this isn't the result of Mother Brain's engineering. There were tough animals on this planet, and they're the ones that survived. Hey. Oh, I took that one out. All right. Whoa, whoa. God, I keep hitting the wrong. Ah. There should be, like, a law that says you can't make analog stick the default movement controls in a side-scroller! And the problem is that when they hit you, you no longer crouch, even if you're still holding down the crouch, you know, direction. Hey, wait, why did it come to think of it? Why didn't I just use the uh, melee with that little green thing, huh? I don't know. But I didn't. Anybody else? You come to think of it... Uh, oh! There we go! Whoa! I see, so they do have those kind of blocks we had before, too, huh? Wait, what's this thing? Clearly it's Chozo technology. Oh! Glad that was there. Surprised the pirates didn't, like, empty it out or something. But then again, I suppose the pirates never actually went to this planet, did they? It was, uh, rather... Oh, a missile tank upgrade. I bet you that's what what that is. It was rather that they stole the... Huh? I must be missing something. You know, I just realized I've been really dumb and completely forgot that I already have missiles. And it's not a new thing I need to get. Great. Well, here we find ourselves. Maybe to some extent Samus got where she is through luck. I mean, if I'm any indication. Whoa! Locked. Yeah, that's a Chozo statue, all right. But how did she lose this? You see, Metroid Prime, the first one, explains how she lost all her stuff after the original Metroid Zero mission. But then that raises the question, how did she lose them between Metroid Prime and Prime 2? Did her suit get damaged at the beginning? I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Here we are. Can we not drop bombs, though? No, apparently not. Though we can uh, melee directly out of being in the morph bomb. So that's good. Anyway, now that we have this, I suppose we just need to head back to the gunship, like I just did, but probably edit it out. Because I thought maybe I needed to, but I was completely wrong and looked very foolish. Well, I won't repeat that mistake. Except I will, because I'm heading back. Well, Samus? Th there you go, Samus. Now that's like Whoa! Now this requires a bit of light... Come on, man. Requires a bit of uh, light... What the heck? Jump! There you go. A bit of uh, lightning reflexes to deal with some of these monsters, you know? Well, in theory it does. 
In practice, as you just saw, I often just kind of am been pointlessly flailing around. All right, and this time we have a reason to save. I have to say that so far, the music at least feels distinctly non-Metroid-y. It's very good, but... Wait, what? Nothing? Ah, it looks for sure like the sort of space where we should... Nope, there's nothing under there. Huh. Was there something on the other side of the gunship? There could be... No! Well, what the heck? I, I guess I just once again completely missed where I was supposed to go? Let's see. Yep, sure enough. How about now? There we go! No. I guess all I can do is wait for it to pass, huh? Yeah, what is that? Looks kind of like... Well, who knows what it is. I bet you that hard shell is what's protected it from the Metroids all these years. What's this thing? Oh! Saving is done differently in this one, huh? Well, I guess there's no turning back now. As if we would anyway. I mean, Samus does not give up on a mission. Okay. This melee thing is kind of an interesting, uh, ability she has, knocking them away like that. Does our Chozo upbringing tell us how to read that? Do we interface with it somehow? Or, I don't know. Clearly there's a little platform here. Are those Metroid emblems along the side? One of them's purple. Does that mean it's been killed? Did the Space Federation officers here before kill it? Or, well, I don't know. How about this? No luck. We gotta do something with this machine. This? We can't even jump in this form? No, we can't. Well, what can I do? I'm really at a loss here, uh... According to our, I suppose, suit on the lower screen, there are 40 Metroids. So, does that mean that these emblems of Metroids stand in for a certain number of them? So on each side, there appear to be uh, five Metroids. And of course, there's a big one in the middle, but let's say the five on the side all represent the 40. So each one of those represents, well, 40 divided by five is... um. Yeah, uh, let's see. So 10 times 5 is 50, so it'd be 8. So each one of those is 8 Metroids. Well, it's all well and good, but where do I go from here? I get that this is supposed to be, like, immersive, but I'm totally baffled. Like, what do I do? I am not going to need to walk through this early. Come on, what do I do? No, it seems this is just a case of me missing something. I totally did not see that there was a ledge above the door. Clearly, I just need to get better spatial awareness. Well, there's really no turning back now. Oh, it's not gonna come up here? Fine then. 
It's not gonna go up anywhere anymore. Oh. Must be some more guys from the survey team. Oh, now that's a Chozo statue. What's this? Huh? Though I'm not quite sure what that is. It sounds good to me. A Ian. Ian fuels special abilities like the scan pulse. Refill your gauge with the Ian orbs foes may drop when you either beat them or successfully parry. So scan pulse uses Ion to scan an area and it'll reveal the map and breakable blocks. Okay. Why would I cancel? Do I have a limited use? Well. So here's the scan. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what this is doing for me. No! No! I don't need a walkthrough again! I'm just gonna run around this room and something's gotta happen, right? There, I mean... There's got to be some way that we're supposed to get out of here. Am I just completely missing? God da damn it. Okay, well, we're not going through there. We just got out of there. Ah. Clearly the greatest challenge, the greatest danger on this planet is um my own lack of a being observant. Huh? There we go. Whoa! I don't appreciate that attitude, you know. What? No, there we go! I guess I just wasted a bunch of pulse beams, huh? Hey! About time. I missed a few of these already, I think. So, are there any breakable barriers in here? And if so, how do I know them? I didn't notice them with that other one. Did they change their color or something? I mean, I guess so. Oh wait, I see. This isn't the same door. This is a different door. Wow, I am making a complete fool of myself. Amiibo? Well, yeah, that's what I would think of after I saw the Metroid. But hold on. How, what are we gonna do? I mean, sure, there are Metroids down here, but we don't have a freeze beam yet. How can we take him out without that? I mean, even when we have our ability to hurt them, you know, it's still like a struggle. I remember Zero, I remember Zero Mission. I remember all the stuff that she went through dealing with Dark Samus and all those people dying and... What's this? Well, guess we're not going to get through there too easily. Some kind of fungus, I guess. So, we're certainly near a Metroid, that detector on our suits going off. I mean, I guess our suit can de I mean, I guess it can do everything else. Why can't it detect METROID DNA, huh? There's no good reason. Hmm. Is that a save point? I'll use that. What I want to know is, why doesn't she already have her freeze beam? Or whatever it's called. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. If she doesn't have that... 
That, I mean, that's terrible. She'll die for sure without that. I mean, you know, she... Like, Metroids are deadly no matter what. And all the more so if you can't actually fight them. I mean, that's what you need to deal with them, is you need to freeze the membranes and shatter them. Well, that was worth it, though. Hmm. I guess it makes sense that since the Cho- that, uh, the suit and the Metroids are both Chozo technology that one could somehow detect the other. But I guess what I want to know is, if that's the case, why didn't she have this installed in the previous, uh, you know, Metroid Prime and Metroid Zero Mission? Is there some reason? I guess the most li likely uh, explanation is, there we go. I guess the most likely explanation is that, uh, oh, it was put on by the Federation somehow. But hold on. All right. Ugh. So... The Metroids we've been encountering are larval Metroids. And this is the next stage of their life cycle! I guess. Oh, I sh maybe should be using the missile. All right, well... Well, you missed me that time, you little monster. It makes sense they can drop out those energy things. They suck energy out of other life forms. So, is this what it's ultimately for? Besides, I guess, sustaining them? All right. Hey, want to try me again? You're gonna lose! That Chozo thing reacts to Metroid DNA, huh? Is it possible for me to go back and save? Well... I think I'll keep going. Once we have this stuff, we don't need no save point. Well, maybe I'm getting a bit cocky, but... Hard not to after what we just went through. Well, you could leave being very scared, of course. Like, oh my god. You see what that Metroid did? That's not how I'm reacting. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. This is getting, looks kind of silly. But it doesn't matter, you know? Samus probably, like, talks to herself a lot. And does all sorts of other silly, you know, strange things when she's on these kinds of missions. In order to just kind of, it's keep herself sane, you know? Because she's out alone for a long time. Of course, most of what she's saying to herself is probably to the effect of Dang! Or, oh no, look at that thing. I guess a question worth asking is whether Samus and the Federation were aware that the Metroids are just a, um... Okay, why to fire? Are just... How about this? There we go! Whether the Federation knows that the Metroids are just, um... Just the larval stages of Metroids are what we've been dealing with, you know? The strange thing was that, although that Metroid was not in a larval stage, it actually seemed less dangerous than, uh, a normal larval Metroid. I mean, it, after this point, for all these years, Samus has been fighting Metroids. And don't get me wrong, you know, they've killed a lot of people. 
but they've like killed this planet we're on, in fact. Still, it is odd to exterminate them all, but really, there's no ambiguity here. You know, there's no, like, moral conundrum. Metroids will kill everything full stop. And Samus, after all, is just to clean up the Chozo's mistakes. I mean, look at these poor souls. They killed them. Well, that's gonna end probably not today, but over the next few days, you know. That's why we're on this planet. Hey. Hey. Wanna try that again? I see, it reacts to the Metroid DNA. Huh. Oh. So do you think this means that the Chozo all along anticipated, like, they prepared for what they would do if the Metroids got into the wrong hands? Because, I mean, why else would this machine need Metroid DNA? I suppose that they probably... Well, I don't know. I don't know much about the design history of Metroids. I don't think anyone does. Those papers were probably destroyed on Zebus. Huh. Wonder what that machine might do. That's the thing about the Chozo. Whoa! Hey, nothing much we can do down there right now. Guess that's uh, when you hop into pits on hostile, extremely dangerous alien planets. Sometimes you, things don't go well. That was one of the times that we lost that gamble. How about this? Oh, how about this? No luck. Are we finally gonna get the, uh, Morph Ball Bombs? Could be. I wouldn't discount the possibility. Whoa, hey, hey there, little guy. Like, what the? Huh? Some odd stuff. It seems to prevent us from jumping off of it. Well, we're down this far. Want to come out here? Yeah, chase me out of your den. Come on. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Want some, huh? I see, it's not gonna go any further out than the den. So the question is, can we get past it fast enough? No, we can't. Well, it's built to live in these holes after all. Why should I expect to get out that fast, huh? I guess really I shouldn't. Her. here we go. That's a very useful feature, knowing what blocks our weapon systems can break. Not sure how it calculates that, though. What does this do? Something good, I'm sure. Oh, it's a lift. Compared to the ones on Zebus, this one's narrow. It feels somehow a lot more, I suppose I might say, inhuman. Nope, even the missiles do nothing to those things. Oh, hey. 
quit it. I see, so you can see some of that weird purple acid stuff that the um, uh, uh, machine drain dripping down in the background. In these parts, well, I mean, really, it's clinging to all the rocks now that I look at it. A normal person would probably already be dead. But Samus is not a normal person for a variety of reasons. Still, we don't want to touch this stuff, I bet you. Hey, hey! Whoa! Whoa! God. Okay. I didn't see all that coming. But that's just because I'm not an observant person. And I guess maybe that means Samus isn't either. But I'm pretty sure Samus is, in fact, observant. What is that thing? Not sure. I mean, clearly it's some sort of predator that gets animals while they hop over the water. I mean, really, every creature on this planet has had to become really ruthless and deadly in order to have any shot of surviving encounters with Metroids. Oh, I see. The Chozo have built a bunch of these, and they all require a certain amount of Metroid DNA. I guess that takes out the non-linear aspect of this one, but okay. Metroid DNA, it is. I mean, we're here to kill him anyway. If the Chozo happened to build this facility, for some inexplicable reason, having in mind the intention to, to do that, I mean, presumably this is where the Metroids were first, like, bred. Well, actually, they might have just been deposited here, since after all, they were bred on this planet in order to take out, well, Samus doesn't know about why the Chozo made the Metroids, and I'm not... And I guess I shouldn't either, at this point. At least I don't think she knows. I don't think anybody knew except the Chozo. But she finds out eventually, don't worry. Not in this game. At least I don't think. Whoa! This place is, uh... Hey, hey, hey! There we go. You know what I think it's about time we do? Uh, this again. See, there's something up here. Something denoted on our sensors as a circle. I wonder what it is! Oh, there it is. What was that? Weird. Is that, like, just replenish all our health or something? I guess. So, further in we go. I mean, clearly there are a lot of Metroids we're gonna need to kill in here. They wanted a lot of DNA. I'm assuming that each one of those orbs represents the amount of DNA we'd find in a single Metroid. Still, it seems very reckless to go in here without an ice beam, even if we somehow killed that one Metroid without one. Nope, oh, there we go. What's up top? What's up top? What's up top? You see, if somebody else were watching Samus, it would look very silly that what she was doing just there. You see, the thing is, that's just how you gotta do it. And so, you know, if, 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 to the untrained eye, that was silly. But to Samus, that was, well, what she does. How about this, no? Huh. This is a huge area we're in. And apparently it keeps going on up here, but... Oh, hey, here we go. Here's a block. How about this? No, we don't have the kind of bombs we need for that. Those pinkish blocks, I bet you, only react to the uh, Morph Ball bombs. Guess we're going through the front door today. Is it just me, or 
have they sort of animated... Well, never mind. Let's go, Samus. Hmm. Nah, nothing in there. Whoa! Those are some brittle ground. I still haven't quite gotten the hang of always immediately pressing the, um... Melee repel attack button. And I see that these enemies, in fact, don't attack quite in that way. They're... I'm not sure what they're doing. Whatever it is, it's probably... Not good for us, though. And what is this gift for us, huh? Or for anyone who happened to come in in a Chozo power suit, I guess. Presumably they didn't assume anyone would come in who wasn't already a Chozo, though. But this bomb is specially designed to be used by the Morph Ball. So we finally got it, eh? Works for me. I already feel... huh? Are we gonna have to... No? Hmm. Then how about this? There we go. All right. We can go that way. And that is a bombable barrier, but first I'm curious about what's over here. I see. What's over here is something worth getting. You know, it's a good thing that her own, uh, that, you know, her suit is impervious to these bombs, or else that's one of her key abilities she would not have available to her now, isn't it? We want to go higher or lower. I propose we try going lower. Nothing? No, something. Yeah, we're gonna go deeper. I mean, basically, we're gonna keep going until we find a Metroid. That's what, that's pretty much the, the deal so far. Huh. We're beginning to get close to a Metroid, if that sensor is to be believed. Oh, there's something up there, huh? Don't know how we're gonna get up there, though. Come on, Samus, it's right in front of you. I still subscribe to my theory that all of this, that all of her, like, attacks are powered by... by, um, uh... Calories. So, like, like, since, like, her body is powering the suit, she really must eat, like, enormously before and after these missions. She probably, you know, I don't know what she eats. I imagine she, like, probably something very, uh, calorie-heavy and filling. Like meat stews or something. Mmm. Meat stews. Another of these. Hold on, before we use that, I want to see what's beyond this area. I'm not sure, but, uh, we might not be able to get too much deeper in here. And yeah, what is that thing? It glides down with its teeth sort of open. So what do you think it is about our, uh, the bombs that are able to hurt those things that our normal weapons can't? Like, what's the big difference here? Well, we could go through there, but I'm curious how deep down this shaft goes! Okay. No! Oh, we're getting near a Metroid anyway. It's deep underground. I'm not surprised, um, that it would be, you know, there'd be few of them. They're clearly top predators. Whoa. I don't want to dive in there just yet. I get the feeling there might be something, uh, dangerous in there. In fact, here's what I'll do. I'll see if there's a save point down there. 
And the answer to that one is no. Before we confront a Metroid, I think it may be wise to, uh, make use of this device in the other room, which is, I think, some kind of teleporter. Am I right? Yeah. Well, I guess the uh, Chozo and the humans both have this technology. You know, think about all those times that, uh, for example, he used he used in Star Trek. So, to the surface. Are there any others? I didn't think so. Wait a minute, this is completely different from the Federation style of teleportation. Instead of dissolving the body into, like, atomic particles and then reassembling it at, the, you know, at their destination, instead of doing that, what they're doing here is seemingly putting her into some kind of pocket dimension. Well, anyway, we have some abilities we didn't have before. Now, don't... So we might be able to get to some stuff we couldn't before. Like, for example, down in this pit... Yeah, see? Oh, that really wouldn't have taken us anywhere terribly interesting, though, would it? But this might. It feels wrong. You know, it's just an animal defending its den, but... Is there nothing else we can do here, either? No. We're gonna have to return later. With a bigger skill set, I suppose. Hey. Those are some powerful bombs! Is there something up there? I guess not. I'm not sure what those green things are. I think they're some sort of rock, but they may uh, be organic. You see, the thing is, I feel like... Oh yeah, we couldn't go in here. I feel like Samus would be very interested in that sort of question. Oh. Well, that's dead now. She should be conducting her own sort of scientific survey, I feel like, even at the same time that she's in here doing this. And in fact, she probably is. Given all of the other sorts of data her power suit collects, I expect that, um... You know, one of those kinds of data, or at least some of them, are uh, going to be things that could be very helpful. Hold on. Where's a save point? There's none near here. I suppose we'll just have to keep going then. Anyway, but the data she collects could be potentially helpful to um, actual scientists. I think the Federation, you know, has a lot of reason to maybe want to see how Metroids live. It's kind of like with, say, smallpox. Maybe you don't want to kill them all, because what if they come back? Well, it's not really like smallpox at all. I mean, these things are way more dangerous. They'll kill you 100% of the time. Well, not quite. But certainly if you're an average person. You know, if you're not Samus. If you don't have her special protections. And what's in here again? Whoa! Hold on. Where are we right now? Um, well, we're right where we are on the map. But as I'm looking around this place, I'm thinking what we might want to do is go back up to that roof. And hold on, there's a Metroid. We can see where it is. We'll check out the area on the roof of this building later. For now, we're going to go kill a Metroid. I mean, that's what we're here for. We'll take out, we'll take out all the Metroids. I mean, that's the plan. Hey, you wanna, no, there we go. Well, I guess we could see what's in here first. 
Whatever it is, I doubt it's a Metroid. Well, I could be. I mean, we're getting, you know, it's we're detecting a Metroid around here. But, uh, whoa. I bet you there might be one. Oh, wait, no, we're not detecting one anymore. So. Oh, hold on, there's a Chozo statue over there. Is it? And what's that thing beneath us? Well, whatever it is, I guess we'll be getting out of here now. Oh, they can survive underwater, too? They're like us. Not we were, you know, a horrible monster. Not really. You know, they're not monsters. Or I guess they are, depending on your definition, but... You know, they're just animals. And, um, that doesn't mean that what we're doing isn't justifiable, given that they'll kill us otherwise. You know, not dying tends to rank pretty high on most people's, um... lists of things to do. But yeah, the Metroid isn't in here, it's in the next room. If I'm reading the map correctly. Hold on, there we go. Oh man, I wish I'd found a save point. Oh wait a minute, that doesn't mean Metroids. It means... Upgrades. It's about time. The ice beam freezes enemies, and frozen foes can be used as platforms. Oh, I know all about this one. But here we can switch back to the previous weapon if we so choose. The problem is then, where is the Metroid we're detecting? Why does it think there's one so near here then, you know? Well, I don't know what's going on here myself, but... Hey, no! Oh, come on, I didn't take it out nearly in time. But don't worry, we'll get this. We'll get this at the, at the very zenith of its leap. I wonder what this, you know, like slime on everything is though. I assume it must be some sort of, uh... I'm not really sure what to call it. I guess... It could be it's like a, an organism, you know. Or it could be some sort of mucus substance. Huh? Now here we go. Come on, there's got- there's something, like, above this area, right? It... Right? Like, I know there is. I can- it's- art- you know, forget it. Some things probably aren't worth it. I'm just gonna stand around there getting beat up. If I wanted to do that, you know, there's no reason to- to do it there, you know? There are plenty of animals around here! that would like to see Samus dead. Or that would see her dead. Maybe not, they don't, wouldn't like to, because they're just animals, you know? I shouldn't attribute, like, a conscious malice to them. I don't think they have that. I think they're just animals. Anything in here? Whoa! Door broke. I see. So in this one, the freeze ray doesn't kill them. What the heck? Now we're getting near another Metroid. I see why if you stand still, these things activate now. It's because there's a pressure panel in front of them. You see, before I somehow hadn't actually understood that. Well, so this door isn't gonna open, right? As I thought, it's busted. But we don't need no stinking door. Well, we do. What the heck? This is odd. 
Is there no breakable block near here? Oh, wait a minute. I see. We can just get through it from behind. Makes sense. It's funny, all those bombs I, I planted and none of them hurt the things I meant for them to hurt. Whoa! Hold on. What's going on here? Is there something I can explode in there? No, there isn't. Well, down I go, I guess. We're getting pretty far down now. Like, we passed the area where any Metroids were. What's this? I guess we're on the other side of this thing, but what is it? Spider-Ball? Oh! This will be helpful. The Spider-Ball can stick to and move along walls and ceilings. We see, why would I have to activate it? Why couldn't it just always be active? That's what I want to know. Want to hold me? No. I guess Samus is beyond that now than, you know, needing, like, a coddling parental presence to protect her. Although, you know, maybe she'd like it. She's not exactly a happy person. Now, see, there's a Metroid around here. My question is, where is it exactly? And I just have this feeling that it's probably in the room above us, right? Yeah, probably. Man, this really opens up a lot of places we can go now, doesn't it? I think it's worth saving the attaining this spider ball. Why is it called a spider ball? Is it because a spider's web is sticky? Or I guess it's also very possible it's called that name because spiders can climb on ceilings and walls and things. Well, not all spiders can. Some spiders, have, I guess their legs are a bit clumsier than other spiders. Now those spiders, you know, there's only so much they can do. What's that? Well, I don't know what it is, but uh, let's see how high this cavern goes. You see, being able to do this enables us to cover a lot of ground. Hey, why don't we just take this one out? What do you say? Will it spot us again? Yeah, it will. And by it will, I mean it did. Are we gonna find anything in here? I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just in a cave. It's an enormous cave, though. And clearly there's a lot of light coming in from the surface, so there must be holes in here. Yeah, you see? Here's something worth finding. Here I was thinking that there wouldn't be as much exploration to do this time around. But clearly, I was mistaken. In any case, I suppose that, um, you know, it's interesting, and I'm sure that this is related, uh, for many years, I think eight years, in fact, so almost a decade, there was somebody who was developing their own remake of Metroid 2 in the style of Super Metroid. It, uh, was finally released after having received no, you know, uh, cease and desists from Nintendo. But the thing is that after it was released and it was out just for a few days, Nintendo's lawyers shut down the project. You know, true labor of love, but... I mean, of course, Nintendo has every right to do that. It's their, uh, check. It's their property. But it did seem like a sort of cruel thing to do for, like, a, you know, a fan project for a game that was never, you know, had not been out in a really long time, and that as far as anyone knew, was like there was no plans to do anything more with it. But here's the thing. Then they announced this game, and it suddenly made sense, like, oh yeah. So it wasn't just to, uh, because, you know, Nintendo is noto notoriously draconian about copyright law that they did this. They also did this because they are currently working on Metroid 2. Now, I don't know how long this game was in development, of course. 
so we can't know if that was actually the case, but it might have been. In any case, I do wonder if maybe there was some kind of connection. I remember that the remake was, um, you know, received a lot of acclaim. And I see, remember I saw some review that called it probably the best Metroid game. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes it, you know, seem really like a shame that it was immediately shut down. Some people think, though, that Nintendo might have, uh, this is just gonna take me back in, like, a, to a dead end. What am I doing? Hold on, I need to figure this out. So, there's, there we are. Um... Don't know why that area down there is red. Maybe it's time that we head up to that roof. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Hmm. Well, here's how we'll do it. Hey, hold on. Wanna try that again, buddy? I think I took it out. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, some people think that maybe, although the law says that you have to, uh, protect your copyrights or else they're not really your copyrights anymore! Maybe Nintendo did that just to, um, you know, to, so that they would have the copyright, but they were sure that the game was released first, because they quite rightly thought that once it had been released, it would, uh, be out forever. You can still get it on the internet if you know where to look. Now, I was going to play that version of the game myself until I saw that this was coming out, and of course I went for this. Even if this might be worse, I mean, I don't know if it is, it's, uh, the official version. Also, I now see that I think I'm really far away from where that roof was, or alternatively, I may have unintentionally already gone up there. In fact, yeah, I think I did unintentionally already go up there. Well, let's look around the roof some more. Clearly, this is some sort of Chozo building. Chozo statue, Chozo writing, and, uh... And Chozo all kinds of things! Look at the size of those buildings in the background. That's pure Chozo for you. And the bomb won't... Yeah, so? No, this is... I see it now I did not go up here. This is as far as we got before. Hey! First of all, you are out. So, uh... Oh, I see. It's one of those electrifying creatures. Not sure how they can, can uh, you know, electrify rock, though. I mean, it's clearly just... Like, it does not look like a metal that would be conducting electricity. But what do I know, huh? I don't know what material this is. Hold on. I'm curious if there are any breakable blocks beneath any of these uh, platforms, and I guess the answer to that one is no! No! Come on! I totally hit the button! Though I have no way of proving it. I suppose the best way to prove me hitting the button would be if uh, the game had responded to me hitting the button, which makes me suspect that maybe I did not hit the button. Oh, the Metroid detector. Wait, what's in here? Have we been up here? Doesn't look like it if the map's to be believed. So, time to change that. But still, you know, the Metroid detector isn't going off anymore. Another broken door. Well, did not go so well that one did. Nope, there we go. Also, another weird alien. Nothing? How about this? No? We're not getting through there, not right now! But we can get over it. Interesting. And this takes us back to... here. I see, so that's how it ties together. Oh, 
Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What am I doing all this for? I should just be looking for that Metroid. Right? Yeah. Whoa! Well. Hey, when I attack again! What I thought you would do is do that, and I was right. Well. What am I missing now? I feel like, I don't think I had moments like this back in Zero Mission where I was quite this unsure of where I needed to go. Yeah, I see. There's an entire region of this area that's totally unexplored. And it's down beneath us. Guess we'll head there then. Hmm. Maybe this is what I should do. It'll get us over a lot of those perils. Although that strange flying spike bottom creature... Well, I guess we already killed it. I'll take it, whatever that is. And, uh... Down further we go, till we're almost at the door now. Is this... No! Yeah, this is it. We got to it. Oh, I see. That red area looks like it's behind that strange eye thing. Well, the strange eye thing was the other one. But yeah, I do think that they've uh, rendered Samus in a way that she's somehow more... traditionally feminine-looking than usual. And like a lot of the other, uh... Metroid titles! See, I am getting the hang of this, though. Like, a little bit, you know, I mean... Might not be a master, but hey. Better than I was. Anything down here? Worth getting, that is. The answer, of course, is probably yes. Oh, here we go. Ah, we can't jump up far enough. Well, I guess we'll return to that thing later. I don't even know what that was up there. It was glowing red. Non-bombable. You know what? Why am I doing that? I should just, you know, climb out. Like I just did. What the? That's interesting. How about this? No, it's one of these. We're gonna have to shut this thing off, I guess. Not sure what it is or why it's there. I mean, it's some sort of fan. I mean, obviously. Are you about dead yet? Yeah, you are. So, what's back here? I imagine some kind of goodies. Or wait a minute, no, this is an area we've already been to. And the Metroid detector's going off, I get it. There's a Metroid, or maybe a few in those deep caverns down there, right? Yeah. Now go this way. There we are. So that's how these places all connect together, huh? So we saw now the answer to how do we get up there by going up there like we just did. Also, yeah, this thing we just passed, that was the shell of a Metroid, right? Yeah, of the larva. We're really nearby where that Metroid is. Oh! Whoa, hey! Watch it! Ya varmint! Let's just kill this thing. Just so. What are these red things? 
I want to, I feel like they have something to do with Metroids, but based on what, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Hey. You're about ready to do that. Oh, okay, that would, I admit you were fast. I see the door is sealed. The question, what? Are you, oh, are you kidding? Hey. Yeah, now it's just dropping out those energy things again. I see, we cannot, we cannot uh, melee it when it's electrically charged like that. We can only do it when it gets careless and doesn't do that. I guess that's a good question though. Do they get careless? Like, how intelligent are Metroids? I don't know that anybody knows that. Well, I guess the Metroids do. I don't think they're too intelligent. I'm pretty sure they're just tough, tough animals that kill everything that isn't other Metroids. In fact, in their ability to actually work together with each other, I suppose that, uh... Oh, darn, it finally didn't... Oh, I see. We don't need to, uh, melee it. And, uh, like, we can hit it at other times, too. Well, we got finally got that one that the detector has been beeping about. Any other fast ways out of here? Probably not. Yeah, no, there isn't. We're gonna need to uh, refill our energy tank some. And also get out of here. Now, if I want to refill the energy tank, fortunately, these things are going to keep hopping out of here are a good source of energy. I mean, it makes sense that she's getting, like, life energy from them because that's... It's calories, you know? It's calories and ATP that power her, um... You know, the, the uh... Power suit. Come to think of it, I probably should have just crossed this room... Is like... With the, with the spider ball. Well, I didn't. In fact, I have a feeling now that by not doing that, I missed something that good that I could have gotten in there. So you know what? How about we try it now with the spider ball? Oh, I see. You can't cross that strange goo. So I see. We could have, we, we could have and should have taken it back, but I didn't. Okay, let's just get out of here. That's what I vote to do. This place is a very terrible place. Come on, really? After all I went through. The depths of SR388 are really the depths of hell. Well, I guess it's actually good that we're back here because now we can, uh, Get on the ceiling. Okay, let's see. Nope. Nice try. Not really, I'm being uh, sarcastic. Yeah, there wasn't a secret on the ceiling, so that was pretty much pointless. Oh, there we go. Well, now the only beeping is the Metroid detector. And we want it doing that. Well, we want it to never do it again, really, but... The short-term part of the process of never having Metroids again is to take them all out. And how are we going to do that? Well, by finding them all and killing them. Duh. Oh, this'll be good. 
This is just what I was looking for. I guess the next question is, where to next? So here we are here. What other areas are still largely unexplored? There is a very big um, uh, area in the upper right. I guess I'll make my way there. And what else do we have around here? There's that area that's marked off as red. There's probably a Metroid in there. And then there's still two sort of cavernous areas beneath the areas where we just were. And given that the Metroid detector was beeping, there are probably Metroids in them. The question is, how do we get into them? Well... Let's go get working on that problem then. Oh, wait a minute, I know how to get into them. I bet they're the things that we would need a higher jump to get into, is that weird red barrier we saw glowing. Of course, it's possible that that's not true at all, and that really, yeah, let's... Let's go check. It's possible that red barrier we couldn't jump to is actually the way we're gonna get out of them, you know? Now, of course, I'm sort of breaking the immersion by expressing that kind of sentiment, because that's clearly viewing this as a game instead of a naturally existing place that doesn't care whether we're here or not. Or, wait a minute, no it's not, hold on. How about this? Okay, in that case, here we go. Yeah, look, there's a Metroid uh, sort of, you know, husk there. The molted skin of the young. Oh, this is gonna be easier. Yeah, this is a very Metroid-y looking place. Judging by that last place we found him. More of these horrible spike things. There's a Metroid in this room. Right? Yep. Right about that one. Oh! Come on, can't you just pass overhead for a second? Or charge without your shield up or something? Oh! Well... I asked for that one. I messed that one up myself. That's the thing about them. They don't, they have a different, a sort of... What? Again? Right, bug breath. I feel like I'm seeing like a matador and it's the bull charging. They're pretty relentless. Uh, I guess I really still do fail to see though how this is more dangerous than a, a younger Metroid. I mean, you remember what those Metroids did to the pirates on Zebus? You know, Look at this one. What's this one doing in comparison? Not too much. It's just swooping around. I mean, I assume it could still suck the life out of something if it wanted. But the thing is, adding all these other powers on top of sucking the life from something, I mean, that's overkill. I guess the Chozo met it when they named these things the Ultimate Warriors. Because they really are. I mean, they can fly. They can shoot out electricity. They can eat any other living thing and kill them. And on top of that, they get armor as they age. There's probably nothing else in here, but it's worth a look. Yeah, I figured. 
Come on, Samus, get up there. There you go. No more Metroids down here, huh? What's, uh... Oh, well, one way to go here, and that's down. Or to keep going this way. I know we could freeze it and use it as a platform, but... Oh, well, that's why I would. Sure. Um, let's see. Just so. Hey, whoa, well. Oh wait, there's another Metroid down here, huh? Is that what I'm getting? I think that is what's going on, yes. Hey, did you, Samus, first Samus. Get up here, Samus. Good job. Good job, come on. Stay frozen, okay? Can you do me that much? Can you do that much for me? Well, clearly it can. But what's, where could the Metroid in here be? I'm not sure. Oh. All right, I see where it could be. Let's, uh, first of all, let's get down. Let's charge this up. Let's actually hit it. There we go. What the? What are those? That's what they are! Okay. Well, I'll wait for it to leap back out of its little hole again, I guess. Yeah, there's gonna be a Metroid on the other side of these... These... Criminy. Of these barriers. If I could just get up there. Yeah, I think I need to get this thing in the very height of its jump. There's a nice pose you struck there, Samus. The, the challenge will be getting on top of it. All right. Come on, God. It's because I wasn't holding down the right button, you know? I mean, it's always that way, isn't it? No! You stay frozen! There we go. Hey. Yeah, it's another Metroid. Flying through the caves. Whoa! This is a pretty basic one compared to what we've been seeing. Or it's really the same as all the other ones. It's just, I'm saying basic because... Ugh. Oh, come on. Not a single one. I missed all of them. You see, that's the problem with a game like this, is because the idea is that Samus is, like, really tough, but I am a complete, utterly incompetent fool. No! This is the worst. I'd rather be sent back to the save point than just have to do this again. God. Well, I mean, I did it once. I'll do it again, I guess. There we go. I figured going to this planet that they would just be, there'd be Metroids everywhere. It'd be swarming in them. Instead, it's an event when we do find one. I mean, it makes sense. Like I said, they're top predators, surely. But now we gotta get out of here somehow. And how are we going to do that? Well... Let's do some scanning! Come on, anything?
Come on, I know there's some way out of here. We're not trapped. And the obnoxious thing is that there is a way out of here. We could just walk into the, what is now the background, but we're not going to, are we? Of course not. See, here we are. Oh, we shot it with the ice beam. That's interesting. I suppose the ice beam still does damage to them, huh? Hey, you wanna... Thanks, man. I hate this noise. And that's why I'm not gonna rest until I don't hear it anymore. There we go. I still think it might be worth getting a little more out of this here festering pit. We're pretty close to top, I think. So now what do we do? Is there a way out of here? Well, I mean, of course there is. We got in, we can get out. Hey, you done? You are now. Wait, wrong wall. I'm gonna be on this one. Here we go. Really? Okay, fine. I can, I can deal. I know there's a way through this. I found it before, and that was an accident when I found it. There we go. So, how did I get in here? Like that. You gotta be on your toes constantly on this planet, or else they'll, you know, literally, well, they're probably doing this to eat her, you know, or it could be like a territory thing. In any case, I, d I doubt these are very social animals. Wait a minute. Whoa! Okay. Now I know why that part of the map was red. Better not go in there. I thought that might be where the remaining Metroid was. But I see now I'm probably mistaken. Although Metroids can withstand extreme heat too. We only have three pieces of DNA for this machine right now is the problem. But we might as well put him in. Question is, where's the Oh! I don't think that's actually the location of the Metroid, but that might be the location of the Metroid shell. So, uh... Guess we're going on a bit of a hike. God! I hate those things. There was trying to make like a cool exit. All right, there's the shell. Seems to be freshly smoking too. So... Guess I might as well save again here. The music in this one is very sort of minimalistic. Is that the term for it? I'm really not sure. But think about it, you know, most of the Metroid games have a sort of distinctively, I mean, there tend to be, oh, hey. I don't appreciate people who try to kill me, even if they're purple flying spike monsters like you. It's in here, right? So it is. Well, be ready here. Well, anyway, I guess this is interesting. So clearly they have eyes, right? So does this mean that normally Metroids are blind? Whoa! Hey, hey, wanna try that again? Well, of course it does. Going back and forth like a rocking horse or some other thing that goes back and forth. 
For example, rocking horses. Yeah, that doesn't really make much sense. You know, maybe in Metroid society, this one's like a, oh! I always am shocked how much damage just one of those does. Well, we just gotta be sure we don't get hit again. Now, I'm joking, of course, you know. There is no Metroid High Society. This thing, they're just a bunch of animals. It doesn't make this business here any less brutal. Well, I mean, it does, actually. Like, there's a very meaningful difference between, say, taking out an intelligent operative and taking out an animal. Now, of course, some animals are kind of intelligent, and that's where the sort of ethical issues come into play here. Is there a breakable block in the ceiling or something? No, we just have to go in from above. Well, that's fine, I can do that. Oh. Well, this isn't good. So... Well, don't worry. There's a solution here, too. Just lay bl bombs over everything until something happens. I mean, there clearly must be some way out of this room. You know, we didn't kill a Metroid just to die in here. See? What'd I tell you? This is the most beautiful thing I could have seen. Sure, we need art to, uh, you know, make life worth living, but in a situation like this one, it takes a, you know, something a much less than art. Can, you know, I'm, I can appreciate. Well, back we go. Oh, hey. God, it's another one of those, what are those things? Grasshopper rhinos is what they are. God! You can't even fall in peace in these parts. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, is this gonna actually take me anywhere closer to where I need to be? Yeah, I actually think it will. And also, I suppose while we're going back to the previous area, we can get some of the uh, missile tanks there. But anyway, yeah, so maybe that was a high society Metroid. I mean, it was clearly older than normal Metroids. You don't see too many high society babies, do you? Hey. There we go. Just what I wanted. And here's one in here, too. Now then, before we couldn't get up here, but now you better believe we can get up here. I really did need that energy tank upgrade too. You see now we've been doing without it. The answer is surprisingly well. I mean, you know, we so far so good. Hey, Shorty, what is that thing anyway? I guess it's some kind of walking anemone monster. An an anena enemy. An anemone. I mean, well, the problem is anemone is already what they're called, you know. Anyway. Hmm. Wait a minute. Hold on. There is something right above us here. Yeah, right above us right here. Well, one thing to do in a time like this, right? This, specifically. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Well, how about this? Not sure what kind of weapon that's gonna require, but uh, I'll take it, whatever it is. I don't think it's one of these, but it could be. No, no, it's not. Well, we're not gonna get up there yet. And that's all there is to that one. So we'll take this lift, 
and I believe that'll leave us pretty close to the machine we need to get to. God! Everything! Everything here wants us dead. You know, I got your last stinking piece of DNA. Despite the hopping squid mouths and the rhino grasshoppers. That sounds terrible. They're grasshopper rhinos. 